Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue the Rise of the Robots campaign. A campaign where we're only allowed to use psionically active soldiers and sparks. And I know it is already um, episode 8 and we haven't even seen a spark nor any psyop. I am sorry for that. But uh, things haven't turned out uh, as we wanted them to turn out. So we're making good progress so far to at least get the proving grounds uh, done and then hopefully a spark sooner than later it was not exactly a spark rush i may say uh, but we have managed to not fall behind the research curve one important detail is to also not get the nasty nasty dark events that are coming up which specifically means advent alloy padding in this case so we're going to go on to operation faceless king into east africa and as always we can only use rookies in our only proper unit i shall say hogbite the templar and that's pretty much it so let's take a look Hogbite is tired. Hmm. That is unfortunate. But I want to win the mission, so Hogbite has to be on it. And you can already see that all of uh, these are not allowed on the mission. Instead, we're going with rookies that are also tired. Fantastic. That is becoming better as we speak. Well, do we have another rookie who is maybe not completely tired? We got a couple of rookies, but I want to make uh, them Psionic um, Psyops characters, so can't really use them in the mission. Hmm. Yeah, and I can't reuse the Reaper and Sharpshooter as well. That is unfortunate. Let me maybe look up the following so we got a decent amount of supplies and we have no recruiting shortages yet so let me find two more rookies and we're going to take it from there all right so i i indeed got two more rookies it is none other than hayward and we got toxic so a new viewer character and an old um, champion uh, returning so uh, let's use a proper loadout we're definitely going to go with a stock and hayward can have a normal gun might as well color code her good and that should be darkish enough as for Russ, we are, I think, going to go with the Old World Assault Rifle. And for Toxic, we are going with another Assault Rifle. We don't have any more utility items. So that's pretty much what we got. And did I forget anything? No, we certainly need uh, the GTS facility upgrade. I decided, though since we're already so far behind uh, in the rush uh, we are probably going for the proving grounds next just to get like one or two sparks and just upgrade the roster that will be more impactful than the gts and you wanted to see sparks so it should be called rise of the robots at the end of the day good here we go wow that's a pretty long way to go holy smokes let's carefully hope that we can just sprint as far as possible without triggering any bystanders but boy oh boy we got a motor seven rounds and we're far far away from where we need to be All right, and finally, Hogbite. I can cover it. We can use high ground if necessary or if possible, but I am also going to fight on low ground 
not even going to sweat it. Good. Moving. Let's start with moving in closer. You can already see that there is a pack right there. So it is decided. Without the introduction of human uh, not my favorite type of enemy. We finally have arrived at the stage in the game where vipers are a thing Blech. that is bad bad news for rookies with conventional weapons specifically we can take high ground here that's actually not a bad position to be honest could start moving up here but that's a very dangerous last move i don't want to be that reckless Good. We're shifting our attention pretty much to that side of the map. So can we position ourselves? Yeah, that's probably the best one here. Don't like it, but it is okay. Five turns, which definitely means we got to act soon. Let's check if there is someone on the rooftop. There is no one up here. Perfect. I think we can take one more round, but that's really the absolute maximum. Location confirmed. As you order. Good. And Russ also moves up here. Next turn, we're going to engage. Overwatch. I'll keep it under watch. All right, perfect. Good. So in terms of doing that the right way, I would say Overwatch. Yeah, he's going to open and another overwatch and we're going to open on the advent trooper perfect one down the viper does not have lightning reflex because we're not playing long war but it has a huge dodge stat I don't want to go in too far. Oh, why is it loading? That is usually a, a very bad sign. Uh, yeah, that is a bad sign. Sorry for the lost frames here. I don't know why my computer is just off the opinion it needs to slow down. Okay, well, we got a stun lancer and a purifier. I'm not concerned about the purifier, but the stun lancer gives me the shivers. Moving back into complete cover. Oh, oh. Bad. Okay, well, at least she did not improve since the last time, but that indeed is bad. We might not be able to get to the target fast enough. We just picked up the chosen assassin's energy signature. She's moving on the squad's position, Commander. Overwatch, single move, double move. Single move and oh, ouch, an injury. 
There is no room for mistakes here. I am coming for you. Good, we got a flashbang, kind of as a means of last resort. Almost got to deal with that purifier first. And we got to go and deal with the transmitter very, very soon. So we got this unfortunate overwatch thing here. Where's our stock? Right here. Okay, so Hayward can remove the overwatch in 100% of the 100% uh, of the time. We're going to do that. It's even a kill, which is better. And hmm, what's our chance to hit him? Good enough. I mean, standing here has the distinct advantage that we can have a better chance to hit him, but it has a massive disadvantage in terms of uh, losing momentum. And we gotta get to that mission objective right away. Okay, again, we're just priming the kill here. So I hope that the purifier will turn around in the hopes of uh, hitting Hogbite. And our parry hopefully will deal with him right away. Not sure how exactly you parry just that in immense stream of energy, but whatever. Ouch. So she parked herself back there. Damn, and we got we got a burning unit on top of it. Not good at all. At least the timer is frozen whilst we're fighting against her. So that's that's something. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Want to make sure that I got that correctly. I did. This is for you. And this is at least going to shred her. Wanted to do it before he might die. Got to deal with the Chosen. So Hogbite is moving in. And we're going to use Parry in a second. At the same time, let's deal with the Purifier. Nice hit, that's fantastic. Right. 
And my only problem down here is uh, that I don't want to take any damage. So we're hunkering down, we're parrying. And hopefully uh, this is going to lead the Chosen to believe that she can hit us. Did we parry the grenade? <laughs> we did. Fantastic. Okay. Going closer. Into full cover. half cover so if we were to hit her that's still not a huh? hmm. I could amplify but that would not kill her right away that's at least going to be one point of damage Well done. So we could kill her. Toxic moves up. Nah, I don't want to take any chances. Oh wow, we took severe damage on ho um, on Hawkbite. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. Yeah, let's do an Overwatch and we're parrying. This might be a kill. Yep, very nice. Reinforcements are coming in. Ready to engage. Good. The problem is we're almost out of time here. That's one, and we're going to reload. That's two. Good. That takes care. Of the timer, at least. And now, let's pick this one up. PCS Superior um, Perception is fantastic. We're going to overwatch and overwatch, so at least two overwatches, let's see what we're dealing with. It looks like a priest. Oh yeah, priest plus double trooper. Nasty, nasty. Everybody will focus on the priest and he goes down. Perfect. One less thing to worry about. Confirmed. Moving into full cover. Dealing with one of them and Hogbite takes the pleasure to kill the other one. And 
that brings us to the end of the mission. Wow. Okay, yeah, we took some hits. I'm not going to lie. It is getting closer and closer, specifically without armor upgrades. Oh boy, this is tough. And let's see how long Hogbite is out of action. It's probably multiple days. And by small days, uh, I mean a, sm a small amount of weeks, rather. So let me guess 20 days. Just have that eerie feeling. Oh, wow, yeah, 12. That's uh, mm, fantastic. And he even got a promotion. Hell yeah, we're going to take it. Good. Number one, deflect. Yes, please. That is fantastic. And I think we're going to also take channel just so that he gets his ability points faster. Str Stun strike isn't bad. Aftershock isn't bad either. But let's go with the with the bare necessities. I'm looking forward for those three. Hopefully one of them is going to be Bladestorm. Expanded magazine, superior perception, there we go, that's what we were looking for. Hello, Commander. And we countered Alien Alloys. Combat against the aliens day in and day out is uh, that is bad. Chance to panic when encountering a chosen. That's exactly when we need Eric the most. But yeah, I figured that at some point when we're just non-stop using him, it'll wear uh, on to him. We can remove the trait later, but for now we just gotta deal with it. That engineer is too good to pass, so I wanted to speed up the healing for Hogbite. But instead, I'm going to be greedy and will snatch that third engineer. Commander, we've just received intel that one of Dr. Okay, cool. Powerful alien there. Not bad. Best be prepared before we try to take it out. You have brought many new faces to serve among your resistors. Income is slightly reduced, but we're still staying strong at plus 250. Our supplies should be fine in this run. And the Chosens are now trying to collect um, our Advent soldiers more and more. Yeah, that's okay. It just means they are going to use uh, suboptimal uh, tactics because they will try to use capturing tactics more often than just attacking. And finally we got our magnetic rifles. Perfect. We do not need the other uh, magnetic stuff. Might as well go for the Inspired Resistance Radio. Plated Armor and Psionics is the next um, for us. I would even... it's difficult. I will probably go for Psionics next. But before we're doing that, let's take the Inspired Bonus. Absolutely no reason to not do that. And let us build a couple of items. So, magnetic rifle, oh, that will be our main upgrade. We don't need the pistol. Uh, might as well upgrade the Templar weapon. And so far we're good. We just, yeah, we just got rid of too many alloys. That might have been a mistake. That way we can't get our armor upgraded. What do you know about these gene therapy clinics, yeah, but we wanted to go for psionics anyways. For now, we have at least upgraded weapons, so that's a slight advantage. If I'm not mistaken, uh, the new weapons also have two slots, so we can get even a couple more upgrades into them. Avatar project continues. And major, oh wow, major break, no minor breakthrough, okay, cool, okay. I was about to say, that's unfortunate. And we got another retaliation mission, this time without Hogbite. 
So that's going to be tough. We might lose South Africa in the process. We might lose South Africa in the process. Anyways, that brings us uh, to the end of today's mission, guys. Let's take a last look into our armory. Hogbite lightly wounded. Had I sped it up, he would be back in action. It is what it is. Mm. We got a couple of rookies uh, though. And how's our progress here? Yeah, almost done with clearing. That's fine. Resistance radio is soon researched as well. So I would say on the strategy layer, it's going along pretty well with another engineer in month number um, two or not even at the end of April and three engineers, three scientists plus a fully running lab. That's pretty damn good. We are f we're going to uh, pick up the pace here. The one topic that is concerning me is our lack of just firepower on the ground. Maybe with the weapon upgrades now, it's going to look a bit different. But yeah, just overall with the rookies, it's it's not an easy way to play a game with only rookies and a Templar. And I fear that at this point we're maybe falling a bit behind the technology curve. Rookies and endgame equipment can be good enough in order to do it, but that requires six rookies and absolute fantastic endgame equipment, including blue screen rounds and armor upgrades. In the mid game, uh, the rookies are just not, or the equipment is usually not good enough to, to carry it. Anyways, that's the end of uh, this uh, episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content and if you want to support the channel in return, for me providing the content please feel free to hit that like button and leave a comment down below because both will encourage the youtube algorithm to rank it even a bit higher and make the channel more known thank you and have a great day bye bye